All right, guys, today we're here at Locum in downtown San Luis Obispo. Gonna get behind the scenes, sample some of the wares, talk about some of their eclectic offerings in this beautiful storefront. Stay tuned. Hi, my name's Jay Bond. I run the Bond Real Estate Group. I made it my mission to showcase all the eateries, bars, wineries, and everything else the slow has to offer. Join me for the slow spotlight. here today at Locum and Slow with my new friend Jordan. Thank yes, you so hello. much for hosting us. Thank yeah, you for coming. Absolutely, absolutely. So, you know, we've been trying to get in here for a little while now and just showcase the place uh, here in downtown San Luis. Can't miss it walking by. I mean, really beautiful storefront. I mean, the rebuild, the remodel in here was amazing. A lot of bright colors, a lot of uh, uh, moving parts in here, for sure, for sure. So I appreciate Thank you having you. us. Yeah, we absolutely. appreciate you being here. Oh. Yeah, we do bring in a lot of attraction from people walking on the sidewalk, just from all of our ambiance, yes. all of our lamps. Everything here mm -hmm. uh, was sent over from Turkey, from the floors to the gotcha. chandeliers, gotcha, gotcha. to the shelving, everything okay. is authentic. So okay. very cool. Very it does cool. bring in a very wide range. Yes, yeah. So it's a lot of eclecticness in here, as you see. Um, and tell me again, you mentioned everything being for sale. So let's, let's expand everything. on that a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So this table, these resin tables from Turkey mm -hmm. can be custom made with any color you want. Gotcha. Walnut wood, our handmade silver chandeliers mm -hmm. also sent to us from Turkey. And then obviously all of our Turkish delight and baklava <laughs> come straight from there. Everything for sale. Everything's negotiable, right? Everything. Awesome. awesome. Yes. I love it. I love it. Well, a great wide array of things here. Um, so I know you guys have your location in Santa Barbara and then expanding here to San Luis. Um, so how's that transition been? How are things just kind of gain traction. It's been great. It's mm -hmm. been really good. Our location in Santa Barbara does really well mm -hmm. and we seem to be doing pretty good here too. Yeah. The community has really seemed to like what we have to offer. Bet, so yeah. it's been great getting I to bet. talk to everyone. It's a great location. I mean, you're right in the prime in the middle of the county so a lot of activity Absolutely. a lot of foot traffic i'm assuming we see people kind of come by take pictures of the place as well you know which is which is hard not to do i think yeah <laughs> you're going it's tempting. By. yeah exactly exactly which is very very cool but now it's awesome excited for you guys um, as you can see behind me just a case full of all these amazing treats which you've been waiting to kind of you know get behind the scenes mm -hmm. and and take a look at so i know a lot of cool things that you guys have been um working on here you have like a maybe a kind of a list of some some hot buttons or some things that you guys want to touch base on yeah well right now we're working on just getting all of our new flavors mm -hmm. out we get new flavors in every single week so gotcha. Gotcha constantly changing and then same thing with our baklava mm -hmm. people often come in and see our baklava section and have no idea that there were that many different styles yes. and kinds of baklava and i had no idea coming in here yeah <laughs> so it's something new and interesting to everyone and of course this. our coffee mm -hmm. a lot of people have never had turkish coffee it's and very it's true very true very different it is it is different so, it's very good but it's different yeah yeah different. so it's a whole experience they say mm -hmm. that when you have Turkish coffee with a friend, the memories last 40 years. Oh. So this is a place where memories are made. It's I not just a it. coffee shop. I love it. Is that a good slogan right there, right? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, awesome. Well, Jordan, very cool. We're excited to be here. So we're going to get behind the scenes, uh, maybe check out a couple things you guys are working with. Is that cool? Yeah, absolutely. Let's awesome. do it. Stay tuned. Nice little spread here. Uh, so 
Beautiful presentation. Why don't we start left to right? What are you working with there? Awesome. Well, here we have some traditional Turkish tea. Okay. Okay. And then if we move over to your plate, yes. this is yes. where it gets a little more exciting. This there is our traditional go. Turkish coffee. Okay. Okay. And along with it is a glass of water for you because it is mm. very rich and oh. dark and strong. Okay. Okay. You'll notice on the bottom there's. Got to cut it out a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> on the bottom there's going to be a lot of grounds mm -hmm. from the coffee because gotcha. there's no filter in Turkish coffee. Interesting enough, it, okay. The one bean mm -hmm. is broken up into 40,000 little particles, Ooh. which is a lot more than your average American coffee. Did you just Google that? Did she, did she one. Go? <laughs> no, that's actually just common knowledge if you work at a Turkish coffee shop. I guess shop. I'm assuming it is. Okay, good to know. Fun facts. But Fun yes, facts. and then this is some Turkish delight for you as well because okay. we don't put any cream or milk mm. in any of our coffees. Okay. Oftentimes mm -hmm. people will have a bite of their Turkish delight and a sip of their coffee. Oh, okay, complimenting the bite. Okay, Absolutely. There we go. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna dig in a little bit. Is that okay? Get so into it, this. yeah. bite as she directed. Very good. Oh yeah, delicious. I see what you say though, very... Yes, little punch. Got a little punch to it. <laughs> I love it. Mm. Awesome. Amazing, well thank you so much. And then I'm excited because we're gonna get behind the scenes here uh, what I call the fun case, all of the bright colors and all the things that you can like wanna hover over the glass case a Absolutely. Bit. So, Stay tuned, excited for that. So I talked Jordan into giving me access behind the scenes here of just the bounty behind the counter. Um, a lot of fun, a lot of bright colors. Uh, honestly, I could probably be here for a week. <laughs> Stay, the stay for a while. I might, I might have to do that. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so let's just touch base. I mean, uh, this is just amazing. I mean, you walk in immediately, you're just kind of like drawn to this countertop of of just this array of bright colors and amazing little little tasty treats. Here, I know we got a sampler up here. Um, so a couple things, anything uh, in particular you want to touch base on up here? Yeah, sure. Well, we do have quite a variety of flavors. Mm -hmm. Typically when people are familiar with Turkish Delight, yeah. it's just this right here. Gotcha. Our gotcha. traditional Turkish mm -hmm. Delight, which is just sugar, cornstarch, and water. Okay. And it's been one of the most popular desserts in the world, and specifically Turkey. Sure, sure. For over 500 years. So what we have in the middle here mm -hmm. and all across our shelves are more modern version of the same old Turkish Delight. A little that bit of a twist likes. on it, as they say. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> Add in some chocolate, a lot of different mm -hmm. nuts, a lot of different fruits. I love it. No beautiful and some presentation. Cream. Beautiful presentation. Thank okay. you. I'm gonna delve in on a couple here. This is an eye in this. So I know rose petals you said on this one? Yes. Awesome. Rose okay. petal almond. Mm. And some of them you'll notice, like that one, are a little more mm. chewy because they're fully Turkish delight. Other ones have a cream filling, and those ones are gonna be a lot more creamy and savory. Gotcha, delicious. Mm. And for our friends who are vegan and gluten-free, mm -hmm. we have a lot of options. Our traditional Turkish delights are completely vegan and gluten-free and nut-free. Gotcha, okay. On this end, unfortunately, everything is has nuts, no, but- No, it looks beautiful, no. Yeah. Everything with an asterisk is vegan and gluten-free. Interesting, very good, very cool. Accommodating everyone then. I yes. love it, all their dietary concerns and needs. Okay, and then moving over, next amazing play here. So good. Tell me, tell me what we got a little spread and array here. Yes, so this is our large array of baklava. Okay. We have a lot of different kinds people have never seen before. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so people get very excited when they come into our shop when they were used to just seeing your typical sure. pistachio and walnut baklava. We mm -hmm. have chocolate baklava oh and okay. shell shaped and creamy and crunchy and karif and anything you could really you ever me. imagine in that family. We've got it. Mm. You have me at chocolate. <laughs> Take a little bite. I have, I have a theme where I talk in my mouthful for at least half of the show, so. Perfect. Mm, works out delicious. So, my goodness, so much fun today. I appreciate you having us. Why don't you tell everyone where they can find you guys, brick and mortar, social media, I mean the whole gamut there. Yeah, you can find us at Locum Slow on Instagram. We're located off Higuera Street in downtown San Luis Obispo, and we are open every single day until 9 p.m. 
So Ooh. come say hi. Come check We'd them out. We'd love to see you. Come get a sample. Sample it, beautiful storefront. Don't miss it, come check this place out. Thanks guys. Thank you. Yeah, so it's a whole experience. They say mm. that when you have Turkish coffee with a friend, the memories last 40 years. Oh. So this is a place where memories are made. It's I not just a it. coffee shop. I love it. Is that a good slogan right there, right? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We're awesome. We're doing a very cool. We're excited to be here. So we're going to